Welcome survivors to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today we're going to be diving into 10 fantastic structure mods that can be used on Ark Survival Ascended official servers. We will be solely focusing on those free mods, so we will not look at any premium mods or mods directly supplied by Studio Wildcard. Each mod will be graded in three categories, appearance, ease of use, and paintability. I understand everybody has their own opinion about each mod and which ones they want to use. So please, in the comments below, let us know which mod is your favorite or which one you would like to see next. Okay, survivors, first things first, we're gonna go over how to use those custom cosmetics as it has changed recently in Ark Survival Ascended. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your inventory. You're gonna see the little eye icon on the left side of your inventory on the top. That icon is for your customs cosmetics. You're gonna click on that icon. And once you've clicked on that icon, it'll bring up your custom cosmetics menu. On your left hand side, you will see all your options for your skins, your, your person, your tames, and your buildings, as well as your armor. On the right hand side, you will see your custom cosmetics that are available to be used. As you can see, most of these are the ones that we're going to be going over today. Once you have selected an, a cosmetic to use, you will then click on it and drag it over to the respective highlighted portion that it can go to. Once you place it on its skin, you can then activate it in one of two ways. You can either bring it to your toolbar, if it's available to go in your toolbar, or you go into your cosmetics menu and activate it from there. Okay, survivors, so the first cosmetic we're gonna look at today is the Clinger's Additional Skin Cosmetic Rustic Building. This mod has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts to it. We're gonna start with the basic. As always, we're gonna go here See if we can take this and put it in the toolbar. We cannot. So we're gonna have to go to cosmetics. Hit E. Okay, survivors. So the Clinger's Additional Skin Cosmetic Rustic Building Mod works on your Behemoth Gate and Gateway, your Dino Gate and Gateway, the cellar, both cellars, your large and behemoth cellars. It works on your fence foundations, your thin pillars and beams, your thick pillars and beams, all doorways, all windows, and all walls to include the tall wall. The quarter wall, the railings, does not work on the roofs. It works on your sloped, your ceiling tile, your hatch frame, and your trap door for your ceiling tiles. It also works on your triangle foundations and your regular, does not work on your quarter foundations, works on your quarter ceiling tiles, triangle ceiling tiles, and your regular foundations. <clears throat> okay, survivors, so the next skin we're gonna look at is the roof skin. The roof skin in this mod pack works on, as it says, your roofs. It does not work on any other structure besides your roofs which include your corner roofs, your triangle roofs, your standard roofs, your ramps, and your stairs. The next skin we're gonna look at is your stairs skin. The stairs skin works on the same structures as the previous skin. Your corner roofs, your triangle roofs, your ramps, your roofs, and your stairs. It does not work on any other structures. The next skin we're gonna look at is the ramp skin. Again, this skin follows the same pattern as the previous two skins. It works on your corner roof, your triangle roof, your regular roof, your ramps, and your stairs. It does not work on the spiral staircase as seen with the other two skins in this pack.
The next offering we're going to look at in these, this skin pack is the Rope Structure Skin. You're going to apply it just like you would any of the others. And these are the structures that it fits on. As you see, survivors, the Rope Skin works on the door of the Dino Gate, but does not work on the frame of it. It does not work on your hatch frames or your behemoth gate at all. It also works on your thin pillars, thick pillars, thin and thick beams, all doorways, all walls to include, as well as your railings, your roofs, does not work on any hatch frame, any foundations, the quarter ceiling tile, your stairs, or your trap doors. For the next skin offering in this pack, we're gonna look at the ornate skin. The ornate skin is unique. It is only used for one item and one item only. And that is your sloped wall, as you can see. It did not work on anything else, but it does work on the sloped wall. Okay, survivors. So for the structures portion of this offering, we're gonna test the painting of it. As you see, we have red selected and all zones selected, and it is paintable. All of the structures in this appear, all the skins in this rather, appear to be paintable. So I would mark that as a affirmative. Okay, survivors. So the last part of this mod is the structures, sorry, the furniture skin. So we're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna take a look at the furniture's right here. The furniture right here we have, it is working on both the bunk bed and the regular bed the bench, the table, the chairs, as well as the store, large storage boxes and the small boxes. Those small boxes look like they would work great as an end table onto those beds. As with the other parts of this mod, we will now see if it is paintable. As you can see, it is paintable and it does appear to be affected by the zones as we only have one of the zones selected. Okay, survivors, now to grade the Clingers Additional Skin Cosmetic Rustic Building Mods. So let's look at uh, ease of use. It, it's very easy to use. You have to bounce between them, but there's not a lot of change in them. So, but you can't put it on your task bar. So I'm gonna give this a three out of five. When it comes to aesthetics, I think it's very beautiful. Uh, I think there could be a little bit of an improvement because it's a little flat. So I'm gonna give that one a four out of five. Paintability. All skins in this mod are paintable and they are zone dependent. So I'm gonna give this one a five out of five. Overall, this gives the Clingers Cosmetic Rustic Building Skin mod a 12 out of 15 score. Okay, survivors, so the next skin we're gonna look at is the Clingers Additional Skin Cosmetic Gr Rustic Greenhouse. This skin is for your greenhouse only. As you can see, it does not fit on your taskbar, but it does have three offerings that we are gonna look at. Without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, survivors, this skin works on every structure of your greenhouse to include the doors. However, there seems to be a graphical issue with the doors as they're coming out looking like metal, hatches the next skin we're going to look at in this offering is the lattice skin this skin does not work on all the same structures as the previous skin as you will see this skin only works on your walls does not work on the doors or the roofs next we're to determine if this skin is paintable so we're going to equip our paint gun assign our couple of zones and test the paintability and it is paintable and it does appear to be zone dependent. Final skin we're gonna look at is your large crop plot skin. Now the large crop plot skin for this mod pack only works on your large crop plots. As you can see, it is gives a very distinct look to your large crop plots and it does retain the stackability. However, it does make it a little difficult to access it just like when you stack them normally and it is paintable just like the rest of these skins. Okay, survivors, for the grading of the Clingers Additional Skin Cosmetic Rustic Greenhouse, for ease of use, I would have to say this again is a three out of five. For the 
aesthetics, while I think they are very beautiful, I think there could be more variety in it. So I'm going to have to go with another three out of five on this one. And for paintability, all zones are paintable in this mod. So I am going to have to give this one a five out of five. This gives this mod a total score of 11 out of 15. Okay, survivors, so the next skin we're going to be looking at is from Klinger Martins again. It is the Skin Cosmetic Dedicated Storage Box mod. This skin gives us three distinct looks for our dedicated storage boxes. A stone, a wood, and a metal skin, as you can see here. Unfortunately, it does not go to the taskbar, so we must do it the traditional way. Now, with this skin, as you can see, it gives a very distinct look to all of them, and the items in the storage boxes are available to be seen in the preview window. Now, let's see if they're paintable. We have zone one checked on each one, and from what I can tell, they are zone dependent, but the zones are different for each skin. Two of the skins appear to have the same zone, while one has a different zone. So we're gonna have to play with that to figure out which zones go where for which skin. Okay, survivors, so for the grading for the Skin Cosmetic Dedicated Storage mod from Clingers, I would say ease of use is a good four out of five, as there are not a lot to deal with, but it's easy to use. The aesthetics, I think it's beautiful, great use of all, so it will fit with each one of your areas. I'm gonna give that one a five out of five. Paintability, while all zones are paintable, it is kind of confusing as it goes between the two different zones. So I'm going to give that one a 4 out of 5, which gives the total of 12 out of 15 for the final score for this mod. Okay, survivors, so our next mod skin offering is from Jesse Coleman 1986, and it is called the Manor Mod. The Manor Mod does not have preview pictures on its skins. However, there are quite a few of them that we will be able to look at and give critiques on. So without further ado, let's get into it. This mod has a large wall that is kind of finicky to put in place, but goes over the behemoth gateway and the behemoth gate. You have two skins that go over your dino gates. No skin for the door itself, but you have a regular arched dino gate and you have a Portcullis Dino Gate. You have two pillar mods, or rather two pillar skins. One that gives you this one right here, which is kind of a capstone, but does not work as a capstone. It goes to the bottom of the pillar. You have this one here that gives you a cylindrical looking pillar. You have a arched doorway for each type of door. You have an arched window for the single window. The mod does not work on the hidden doorway or the tall wall. You have a skin that goes on a window that gives you a double window as well as a single and double arched window look and a low arch wall. It has four different skins for your railings. You have a simple railing like so, and then you have three different variants for battlements. The mod also has two skins for angled, for sloped railings. However, I was unable to get that to work. It has three offerings for marble flooring like so as well as three offerings for marble ceiling tiles like so it has one offering for a triangle ceiling tile and one offering for a triangle ceiling tile however it does not have it only has one offering for those nothing else and it has does not, does not work on the roofs, the stairs, the quarter ceiling tiles, the quarter walls, or your quarter foundations, or your thin, your thin pillars, your cellar doors, or your trap doors. 
This mod also comes with a throne as such. The last thing we need to check with this mod is if it is paintable. So we are, we have our handy dandy paint on us. Let's see if it is paintable. We'll activate all. So no, the skin itself is not paintable but the underlying structure for it is. So it gives you, I'd say that's a quarter of it. With this offering for its grading, ease of use. We can't put the skins in our, in our hot bar. It has multiple skins, but several of them do not work as well as there, several of them are different variations of each. And there's no picture to tell us which are which. We have to read the instructions on them. I have to give this one my lowest score, a one out of, uh, sorry, a two out of five on the ease of use. Aesthetics, I like the aesthetics. I have to admit, I like the aesthetics. It can give you a lot of uh, depth to your build. So only thing I don't like about it is the fact that they diverge so much from the surrounding area even though they're based off of the basic stone structures. So for aesthetics, while I like what they, the offerings they have, I feel that it's lacking in its variety as well as its consistency throughout it. So I'm going to have to give this one a three out of five for aesthetics. Uh, paintability. The underlying structure can be painted, but the skin itself cannot for that fact alone i am going to mark this as a one out of five on paintability that gives this mod a score of six out of 15. okay survivors so the next grouping that we're going to be looking at is the Offering from Sandy underscore double zero. The first one of his, the four that we are going to look at for him is the modern structure skins. This mod is right here. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different mod parts, mod skins themselves. The first one we're going to look at is the plaster skin. So. I've already applied it, as you can tell, it is able to be placed in our inventory, which is the first in our hotbar, which is the first one for that. Uh, this skin, this skin does not work on Behe gates, dino gates, or cellar doors. Mod, however, does work on your thin and thick pillars and beams, as well as your standard foundations, doors, double doors, and tall doors, your windows, does not work on your hidden wall or the tall wall. Works on the railings, as well as your roof tiles, sloped walls, and your ceiling tiles. However, it does not work on your hatch frames or your trap doors. And here is the offering for the regular wall. Gives a nice white marbled look. This skin also works on your roof tile, your stairs, your quarter ceiling tiles, your triangle ceiling tiles, your triangle foundations, and your quarter foundations. The next skin we're going to look at in this mod pack is the modern door skin. As the name suggests, it only works on the doors. It does not work on your gates or your gateways. It works on the double door, the tall door, as well as the regular door. Again, it does not work on the windows either. The next offering we're gonna look at in here is the modern brick. Okay, so here's the modern brick layout. It follows the same pattern as the previous skin that we looked at with the white. Uh, it works on all the same structures. The pillars are a little bit different. I do see a slight clipping issue with the pillars on this one for the thick pillars. It uh, has it raised up a little bit. 
And instead of a marble offering on the floor, it gives a brick offering on the floor and the stairs. The next one we're going to look at in this series is the modern wood skin. And the modern wood skin, again, follows the same pattern as the previous one, but here is the look of it. It's a very dark black uh, wood grain. Very nice. The railings have give a nice look as well. The next one in this grouping is the modern redwood skin. And here is the modern redwood skin. Kind of gives off a oriental vibe when it comes to the walls and the quarter seal, the quarter walls uh, and the windows. Here is the windowed wall and here is the regular wall. The foundations give off a polished hardwood look. It is a very elegant looking style. The next one we are going to look at in this offering is the modern glass skin. Okay, and here is the modern glass skin. We're going to look at this one a little bit deeper because it's got some interesting effects. Okay, so if we're going to, we'll start over here. The thin pillars seem to be having a graphical issue. The thick pillars kind of give this rolled glass look. Again, the foundations have this beautiful polished hardwood look. Here are the doors and the windows. The quarter walls actually look like a sheet of glass. The railings also give off this glass uh, industrial look. The roof tiles are transparent. Your sloped ceiling, sloped wall is transparent. Your uh, ceiling tiles the same way. Same thing with your roof, your regular roof tile and your stairs look like they're made out of pure glass. Same thing with your triangle ceiling tiles and your quarter ceiling tiles. Your quarter walls, your quarter foundations and your quarter triangle piece, uh, triangle foundations give that polished hardwood look as well. Overall, I think it is a beautiful offering except for the one what appears to be a slight error in the graphics for the pillar, the thin pillars. Our next offering in this particular mod is going to be the modern plank skins. And here is Sandy's offering for the modern plank skin. As you can tell, it kind of, it's that hardwood, modern cabin-esque feel. Uh, the roof tiles are, the triangle and corner roof tiles are black, almost burnt. And the regular roof tile is pleated with glass. It has a very interesting look for the thick and thin pillars as this mod is highly similar to the other mod skins offered in this selection we're just do a quick view here and then we're going to look at how it's paintability and then we'll go into the grading for these skins as you can see in this skin while it does give a slight tint to it the paint really does determine uh, the effectiveness of the paint is really determined by the skin itself and the color that you are using so ladies and gentlemen with that skin we'll go over the rating for it here ease of use it is the first mod that has both the photo of what the mod is to give you an idea of it so you can differentiate it first mod that is each one is different there's no duplication of looks as well as the only mod so far that we are able to place in our hot bar that is not from wildcard i'm going to give that one for ease of use a five out of five actually we're going to give it a four out of five I think the only way for it to be 5 out of 5 if it, if it was one skin and we could cycle through that one skin while it being on our hotbar to be able to use it. I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 
for ease of use. Aesthetics. The aesthetics vary between the skin that you're using and they're all very unique and util and very and can add great texture and flavor to your build. I am going to have to give it a 4 out of 5, no, a 5 out of 5 on aesthetics. Ability. Now, now here it is paintable, but depending on which mod you're using, which skin rather you're using, it's going to change on the the how the it is affected by the paint and how much of your paint is truly coming through. The zones do work on it. We're going to give this one a 4 out of a 5 on paintability. So that's going to bring this mod to 13 out of 15. That is our highest scoring mod so far. Okay, survivors. So for the next mod we're going to look at is another offering from Sandy underscore double zero, which is the modern plaster structure set. This mod, it can be found right here. It has SD under it for all of them. It has four pieces. And as you can tell, I have it right down, the first one right down here. It does attach to your, to your toolbar. The white set gives a white plaster covering for all for your pillars your walls except for it does not work on your tall wall does not work on your secret door for some unknown reason it is saying it will work but it does not activate your railings your roofs your triangle Sorry, your sloped root, your sloped wall. It gives a nice marble look to your white marble look to your ceiling tiles. It does not work on your hatch frames, your trap doors, your cellar doors. Sorry, works on your roofs and stairs, not your ramps. It works on both the quarter wall, sorry, the quarter ceiling tile and the quarter and the triangle ceiling tile. Works on your triangle. Uh, Foundations gives you a black look for your quarter foundations and that white marble for your foundation for your regular foundations. Next question is, is it paintable? So we're going to activate all the zones in here. We're going to try it out and it does work. These are paintable. And we're going to eliminate a couple random zones here to see if the zone matters and it is paintable and the zones do get affected the next offering for this set is going to be is going to be the modern wooden light skin so place that here and this one also fits on your toolbar on your hot bar rather okay survivors so with this light modern wood skin it works on all the same building pieces it works on your thin built your thin and thick pillars and beams your doorways although it appears to have a slightly different look between the regular doorway and your double and tall doorways works on your foundations does not work on your tall walls Works on your windowed walls, your quarter walls, your railings, as well as your roofs, your regular wall, your ceiling tile does not work on your hatch frame or your uh, trap door, sorry, your cellar door. Works on your roof and your stairs, your quarter ceiling tile, your triangle ceiling tile, although it does have a slight lining issue where they don't where the graphics don't quite line up works on your triangle foundations and your quarter foundations next test is if it is paintable let's take a gander at this is it paintable 
It does not, this skin does not appear to be paintable. Some regions appear to be paintable though. Only some regions of it can be painted. The next offering in this one is going to be the modern parquet wall, door, and ceiling only skin. So this only works on your walls, your floor, and your ceilings only. It does attach to your taskbar, to your toolbar as well. Okay, survivors, so this is the first of this set and from the first of the offering that we received from Sandy that does not work on all the same structures. This particular mod, this particular skin, only works on your, your foundations, your walls, your ceiling tile, your stairs, and that is it. It does not work on your quarter walls, it does not work on your window walls, any of your doorways, your pillars, your beams, nothing else. And let's see if it is paintable. I am gonna say no, it is not paintable. Last and final skin in this particular mod pack is going to be the large wall AIO skin. We're gonna take this and we're gonna move it in and it does, it does not attach to your toolbar. Come in here, E. This is only for this skin is only for your tall walls with the white plastered look. I'll say it again, it's only for your tall wall with the white plastered look. Is it paintable? It is, does not take paint. Okay, survivors. So that was the modern plaster structure set for aesthetics i would say while limited it is a very beautiful set so i'm going to give that a four out of five for ex ease of use again i'm going to give this four out of five if it was not for the last skin of the set the newest skin of the set not going to the toolbar i would i would give it a higher score actually i'm going to give it a three out of five as the only one that has the tall wall is that uh is that one skin and it only comes in one of the three variations for the mod for this for the mod itself and another thing that that gets me is the fact that it does not work on ramps none of those skins work on the ramp and there seems to be an uh, um, an error with the trap door so we're going to give that a three out of five for ease of use paintability it is certain parts of it are paintable but it's very limited on some of them so i'm going to give that a three out of five That gives this mod 13 out of 15. Sorry, 10 out of 15. That is the modern furniture skin. Modern furniture skin from Sandy is this right here. These three pieces. So we're gonna take this, throw that into here. It does go on your toolbar. Okay, let's take a closer look at these real quick. As you can tell, they kind of look the same. You have this one that is modern furniture skin, and this one is modern furniture skin matte. You have the modern furniture bath skin, and the modern furniture faucet skin. This is future Mikey here. I forgot to mention there are four other skins in this pack. They are for the dedicated storage boxes. They are also marked with the SD. They are the uh, ones that look like little boxes. Okay, so we will be showing them as well 
So let's, these two are, I believe we're going to be about the same. So we're going to leave those alone. We're just going to go with one of them. And we're going to see what they work on. Okay, so starting from the right and working our way to the left, this skin turns the bunk bed into a queen size bed. A, the regular bed into a modern-ish single bed. Uh, your bench turns into a, a very flashy love seat. Your table turns into a very nice uh, modern-ish 1970s table. You have a modern chair. Your bookshelf turns into a modern looking bookshelf. Your large storage box turns into what looks like a uh, armoire or a work cabinet. Your boxes turn into what almost looks like um, What's the word I'm looking for here, guys? Uh, nightstands, modern nightstands. Your smithy turns into a desk. Your chem bench turns into a uh, tool chest. Your fabricator turns into a modern table or large desk. Your industrial cooker turns into a well. Your grill turns into a modern kitchen. Your generator turns into a very small generator. Your toilet turns into a modern commode. And it also comes with skins for the modern skins for the uh, dedicated storage boxes. The one thing I would say about dedicated storage boxes is you can't see the picture of the items that are in it. I will show you here like so. And your industrial forge turns into a desk similar to your fabricator. Actually, let's see if this skin is paintable first. That does not appear to be working. Okay, so it is paintable. Very nice, very nice. Except it, the size of it makes it a little difficult to get it. Your that is that part is not. So as we speed this up to go through this painting process, it was determined that it zones are affected in this painting, as well as where the original structure's limits are. It also depends on if the structure itself was able to be painted. The next item in this package is the faucet, which is right here. The faucet skin, we're gonna throw that into there. The faucet skin does not go on your hot bar. So you must go in there. And it does not appear to show up either, so I see just a slight issue with that. Let's see if it works on the... It does not work on either faucets. Ah, there it goes. You can't really see it, but it does work. And the last and final part of this mod is the toolbox skin used for your storage boxes. So we're gonna take this one, and there's two options on it. It does go into your toolbar. Okay, so this particular skin, uh, this particular skin in this mod gives turns your dedicated storage boxes into stacked toolboxes. The only, again, the only issue I see is you can't tell what the item actually is that's in the dedicated storage box. It turns your boxes into toolboxes. Your bookshelves into a tall toolbox and then your storage box into a medium-sized toolbox let's change the color here let's go with brown let's 
the mod is paintable however it does of the color that comes on it naturally does affect the look of the paint that's applied we have two other offerings with this we have the dedicated storage cloth skin and the dedicated storage wood skin so we're going to come over here take a look at these Again, I see the same issue. It looks nice. I like the cloth look, but we have the same issue. It does not show the image of the items that are in the dedicated storage. See if that issue follows through. And it does, unfortunately. With that mod, Ease of use, I would say aesthetics, varying views. The modern one's not really my style, but it does give a unique view. So let's be generous here and say three of five as far as the ease of use. Almost all of the skins go onto your toolbar, which makes it really easy. You don't have to switch between skins that much or really at all. So that is really easy. And you have an idea with the picture on the icon of what you're looking at. So I'm going to go with a 4 out of 5 on there. And then paintability. It varies from skin to skin and dependent on the base color of it. So I'm going to go a three out of five that gives this one a 10 out of 15 the last and final offering from sandy is going to be the tech sci-fi tech station we're gonna throw this on here it does go to the toolbar that makes it easy okay so this skin works on a select few Items. It works on your pillars, thin and thick, your beams, your 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 uh, regular foundations, your windowed walls, your regular walls, and your stairs. It does not work, and your ceiling tile, your regular ceiling tile. It does not work on any other structures. But there is something interesting about this one. You go into the skin settings, and you can rotate the skin. You can scale the skin. To extremely small. You can bring it up to normal. Bring it back. You can rotate the skin. So if you want to... It's currently at zero. Let's go here. We can make small incremental changes or we can make the big changes. You can also come down to here. Whoops. And that is for all of these skins. Keep in mind that does not change the hit points, the hit box of the item itself it just changes the appearance of it is the i are the items paintable let's find out they are not paintable so for this final offering we're gonna go with aesthetics i love the way they look I think we could have more variety on the items that they're being used on, personally. But I love the way they look. And I love the fact that you can make them larger and smaller and rotate them. So we're going to go with a four out of uh, a th We're going to have to go with a two out of five. Just for the simple fact that, unfortunately, there aren't very many options to use it on. Uh, the ease of use, it goes in the toolbar, 
snaps on clean. Uh, the wheel works great to be able to rotate it. Again, the only thing, the only drawback I see here is the fact that it does not have a lot of variety within the mod itself. But we're going to give that a 4 out of 5. Paintability, it is not paintable at all. So this is the first mod to get a 0 out of 5 on paintability. That brings this one to 6 out of 5, which is our lowest score so far. Our next mod offering is from Roab, R-A-A-A-W-B, and they are both furniture mods. So we're going to take a look in here, and we're going to go with the Modern Furniture 1. So we're going to go with the bed first. It does go in the toolbar. Works on the regular bed, does not work on the bunk bed. Hmm, so only one bed. The, it has a second skin for the bunk bed. So you'd have to change that out. And it's got another skin for the toilet. So if we come here, go to the mode it gives us a modern toilet overall simple yet nice mod uh, with this mod for the furniture one With the modern furniture one skin mod, uh, for ease of use, while it does go on the toolbar, it's for three particular items and it takes three particular skins to use. So to me, that kind of knocks it down a little bit. I'm gonna give this a three out of five. For aesthetics, I think that each one of the skins are very unique, very beautiful. So I'm gonna give that a four out of five. I just feel there could be more variety in it. Paintability. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give this a 0 out of 5 as it is not paintable at all. This gives an overall score of 7 out of 15 for this skin mod. The final mod that we're going to look at is the Classical Furniture Skin Mod. This mod gives us furniture that is all of a classical or modern look. It has 1, 2, 3, 4 chair skins a bench skin and two table skins okay so for this skin as i stated it has four chairs which are all very unique chairs you have uh the lazy boy looking chair almost although it does look a little blocky you have the classic dining room chair and then the wooden classic dining room chair and then you have the classic modern-esque office chair you have a lovely curved table and a square table with rounded lit and a sigmund freud style couch now uh the couch the puffy couch and the puffy chairs kind of give me a vibe of the offering from wildcard with the adventure pack but this is free so that is a good option for those who don't want to pay for the adventure pack is it paintable no it does not appear to be paintable so let's change this paint to see if we can get a more of a contrast on there. Let's go with blue. Okay, so this mod is not paintable. In review, ease of use, it goes on the toolbar but it only works for each type. And there's four different types of chairs and two different 
uh, tables. I would like to see them put into one skin and you can cycle through to choose which style you want to go with. Um, so that's kind of cumbersome when you got to click through each one. So I'm going to give that a three out of five for ease of use. Uh, aesthetics, they I, I think they're beautifully designed. Uh, a little bit of work on the couch and, and puffy chair would be nice. A little more in depth, make it look less blocky and, and wooden. But overall, I think it's a beautiful uh, look. I'm going to give that a another four out of five. Due to the fact that they are not paintable at all, again, it is going to be a zero out of five for me. Overall, that gives this mod a score of seven out of 15. Thank you for joining us, survivors, as we walk through these custom mods that can be used on official skins for our structures and furniture. Uh, please leave a comment below on which of these mods you liked the most or which mod you would like us to look at in our next showcase. We will be working on one and we'll hopefully have one out for you here soon as I know of three fantastic modders, one of which was not shown today, who were coming out with custom skins in the coming weeks. Thank you and have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.